to Epic Guys Bartending. I'm Epic Guy Randy, and today I want to show you how to make a Blue Hawaii. Now, Blue Hawaiis were one of the first drinks that I learned how to make a long, long time ago. Only we made them with gin. And I can't say they're bad with gin, but they're much better the original way with rum and vodka. I never really thought about doing that. We were looking for a gin drink and found it in a recipe guide somewhere. Um, but anyway, as with most drinks, you have your alcohol, a base mixer, and some other little things you had. And this particular drink uses Blue Curacao, and that's how it actually got started at a hotel in Hawaii. I can't remember exactly the name, but uh, the Blue Curacao salesman happened to be there and worked with the head bartender to create a drink using their new Blue Curacao product, and the Blue Hawaii was born. Now, a lot of them that you see aren't blue. They're like kind of an ocean water green, and that's the intent, but I have a way to really make them blue. Uh, well, or let's say bluer than they normally would be, and I'll show you that. But anyway, to make the drink, the first thing you want to do is get your shaker. And we're actually going to build this in a shaker, and then we'll strain it into the glass. So you want to get some ice in your shaker. Not a whole lot, just a little bit to kind of chill everything down. Now, you want to start with a half ounce of vodka. Now, once again, these things are to taste. Now, this Blue Curacao has alcohol in it, the Bacardi will have a little bit of alcohol in it, the uh, vodka will have a little bit of alcohol in it, so you're not trying to completely overpower the drink. But we need a half an ounce of vodka. Let's go half an ounce of vodka. We need a half ounce of white rum. And once again, these, these cocktails can be done to taste, so you can use all rum if you want to, you can use all vodka if you want to, it's not that big of a deal. And then you need an ounce, a full ounce of blue curacao. Now, next you need two ounces of pineapple juice. Now here's a little trick I found. This is what uh, pineapple juice looks like that you can buy at the store. If you get fresh squeezed, just like fresh squeezed orange juice, it's going to be a little bit clearer. It's not going to be homogenized. It's not going to be milky like this, right? But what I found, if you let this sit for a while, solids will settle out of it, and you'll have more clear juice at the top, but it's not perfectly clear. It's still very, very yellow. Um, if you're not making a lot of these, if you're not having, if you're having a party, obviously you've got to use something like that. But if you're not, what you can do is get a can of uh, pineapple, uh, pineapple rings, pineapple tidbits, whatever, and you can take the juice out of that can and let it sit in your refrigerator for a few hours, and all of the solids are going to settle out of it. And what you're left with is literally uh, a very, very clear, a very, very clear uh, pineapple juice. So that allows you to do almost better than fresh squeezed. I mean, there's no pulp in there. You can see through it. It's not going to change the color of that blue curacao hardly at all. But let's see what it does. Okay, so we need two ounces of this. I've got about three in here, so I'm going to get into it. That'll work. Next, you just want to shake this really, really well. The whole idea is to get that really, really cold. Now, you want to take a hurricane glass and fill it with some ice. And then strain this into your glass. You want to garnish that with, I kind of pre-made this so you didn't have to wash it, but it's a, uh, an umbrella with a little cherry and uh, a piece of pineapple. You sit that in there like that. As you can see, the pineapple juice that I used has not discolored this drink at all. It is still blue. If you don't mind me going a little bit ocean green, use the other pineapple juice. Obviously, I, I just figured this out a few weeks ago when I was testing some of these drinks that, hey, the pulp settles out of this thing. So, you can keep them blue if you want to. And there you have the 
Tripalu, Hawaii. Thanks for watching. Always drink responsibly and remember that with sufficient thrust, pigs fly just fine. See you next time.